For the Mika sauce too. I want some of that Mika sauce. Let me know. Ooh. Ah. You got to go. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah. We're on Germantown Avenue. Uh, Germantown and Haynes, actually. Not me. She's, she's actually good. All right, we good? That's my car, we good? Hey, hey, what you say? He does, he's a fooder. Hey, Foodie. Nice. I didn't want to thank you for it. Yeah. DPA's <laughs> finest, y'all, say what's up. Uh, hi, hello. So, I already told her, you know, I, I put some money already on my meter, so <laughs> she gonna look out for me, you know what I mean? Have a great day. All right, you too. At one of my favorite spots that I like to do, like, um, when I feel like, you know, my mother's been going since 2014. Right. So I don't really get too much, you know, like mommy type of food unless my wife cooks. And sometimes my wife is working so hard that it's like, we want to go out and eat. We'll go out and eat. So this is one of the spots. And Tamika Soul Food is like the most happy, hug my stomach food I can get. So let's go in and try it. rock like guys like that they all came here to get that home you know that feeling of home right so it's like like I said man sometimes you want to really 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 get a meal that's gonna like stick to you and make you feel happy so uh, just look at the wall man you can see who's been in here I mean uh, everybody man from a lot, of a lot of history, man. Beanie Siegel, Petey Craig. Like I said, this was one of PNB Rock spots that he used to love to come to and get some good soul food. Yes, yeah, the great. Uh, man, whew. It, I mean, the list goes on and on, as you can see. You pan the camera, bro, and you can just see. I mean, it's a lot of people who came here and just, you know, just wanted to enjoy that southern feel. So, uh, welcome to another episode of JL Jupiter TV. We're here at Tamika Soul Food, Germantown. Um, we're about to show you one of the establishments here in the neighborhood, man. Um, backstory to this, Dutch hit me up. He was like, yo, he's like, I got a good joint for you, man. He was like, these are the best turkey wings in the city. I'm here to find out, you know what I mean? So stay tuned, we're about to get into it. Hi, Miss Tamika. How you doing? You doing well, so how'd you get started? Um, just in the house. Yeah. Cooking for my kids and thought I want to work for myself and mm -hmm. I just started it on a lunch truck. You started from a lunch truck? Yes. Wow, that's crazy. It's the home of Grabbage, okay? If you ever hear that again, know that it came from here. This is the home of Grabbage. Cabbage and greens mix, baby. Major. Mm. Tell me that don't look amazing right there. Look at this. And I get to the yams. Sweet, sweet, yams. sweet yams. To me, I, I, I like to dig into the sides first before I actually go into the protein. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in for the uh, mac and cheese. Look at that. You can see the seasoning. When you can see the seasoning in the mac and cheese, you know you're in the right place. Let me ask you this, Dutch. How come? How come people just don't get soul food right? I, it, it, it has to be. It's a history thing. It's about being taught. Yeah. So if, you're, if your grandparents and, and you sit in the kitchen and you watch and you do it the right way, then you'll learn. Some people do too much. They try to, you know, look up recipes. And, no, you have to go with what you know. Don't take uh, macaroni and cheese and make it yours. You got to make it traditional. You know what I'm it's saying? Got to have some heritage to yeah, it. Yeah, you got to add some some grandma hands in there. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I was seeing a meme for Thanksgiving, right? They kept saying. Uh, a lot of these uh, people can't cook because their grandmothers are 30 years old. No, it's not that. It's just watch in the kitchen. Men can cook it. Women can cook it. Soul food is for the soul. That's what I know. I guess it's, I guess there's got to be like an apprenticeship phase. Yeah. You got to watch. And you got to pay attention. I hate that apprenticeship. You got you to gotta get yelled at a couple times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got to mess uh, up to get it you right. You got to mess up. You're right. Mac and cheese, Tamika soul food. Let's go. Let me tell you something, what I love about mac and cheese, that layer of cheese right here that's crusted like this. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, look at the shot. Look, look, did you peep the shot? 
Mmm. Oh, I'm tasting the peppercorn and everything in this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. Nothing dry about this mac and cheese. I'm gonna I'm tell you again. Yeah. So tell me what you got going on, Dutch. Tell the people, man. Um, so basically what, what I'm doing now is, man, I'm just um really I got a podcast that I just started. Mm. It's called uh, Wrap Your Brain Around That Ish. I don't want to curse on your station, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, along with that, I'm finishing up with this tape I've been working for, working on for about a year now okay. with 38 Special. Uh, if you're not familiar with 38 Special, just go check out some of the uh, Griselda and you know the Rochester artists and things like that. I've been tapping into that. I'm actually waiting on my friend Shaheem to let me know if Raekwon is going to be available for this feature that I need him for. And I'm just pushing, bro. Yeah. I'm just happy to be a Philadelphian at this point. It's a fact, Salute man. Salute to the Eagles, man. Go Birds. Yo, I found someone who loved the Eagles just like me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they lose, I kind of, my week is kind of like done. I cry. I cry, man. We cry together. Yeah. You cry. Love you, Eagles. <laughs> Yeah, I really go that hard, man. Like, what was you doing for the Super Bowl? When they won, where was you at? I was okay. right in South Philly. So I left from my home, and I rode, me and my friends, we jumped in the car. We rode to Center City, mm -hmm. right? We, when we rode to Center City, it was just like the most people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> And I'm hugging people I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's like one I, of the friendliest times in Philly. I'll tell you that. Right, I saw babies, bro, like newborn babies <laughs> wrapped up. And you remember it was cold that year. The babies <laughs> out there. They, <laughs> I think I heard a baby go eagles. <laughs> I think I think I swear I heard a baby go eagles. <laughs> yeah, but it was amazing, mm. man. I we love it. We love our eagles, man. So yeah. make sure y'all follow. I'm gonna leave everything in the description. Make sure you follow him. Show him support. He is Philly royalty. Um, and he's one of the most thorough dudes. I guess you've been in the game, what, to over 25 years or something like that? 30 yeah, years? Yeah, yeah, about 20, 23, 23 everyone, 25. Everyone from the industry to the streets, yo, this man is good. Like, he means what he says. He's about his business. And he's thorough. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't really bring people on that much. But when I was able to kind of, like, feel the vibes, too, I'm like, yo, this dude's official. Even though I've been to him for major figures and all that stuff. I didn't know him personally, but when I start seeing his name and everybody saying he's good, I'm like, all right, cool. I feel I comfortable. I appreciate it, bro. I you know appreciate what I mean? it. And I'm a fan as well, man. So Thank you, bro. That's, a, that's where the duality kicks in because I, lo I love food, and you show people good places to get it. Yeah, I show them good places to get it. I also put things in perspective, but it's mainly just about knowing your community, knowing the people in your community. You know what I'm saying? And kind of building that bridge that's dope. within communities. That's dope, man. So, that being said, we're going to the grabbage and then the turkey wings. Oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, yeah, oh my God. Look, look at this. Da, da, da. Woo! Da, now get it together. See, right? The thing about it, right, is you gotta catch it. Yeah, catch it. Yeah, now you're, now you're about to get the grabbage experience. So it's gotta be like a, right, a greens and cabbage type of thing. You know what I mean? Woo! I see what you mean. Yo, the greens with the cabbage. I like the, the the slight bitterness of the greens, and then you get the sweetness from the cabbage. Mm -hmm. Beautiful combinations. Now, everything was done this morning, so everything every morning. Oh, I can tell. If she didn't cook it, this, this would probably be wilted away. You know what I mean? Oh wow! Oh, my God. It's the it, yeah. I love. It. Now you about to get now that now you about to yeah right right now you about to we take about it. to get right now yeah right now if this is the thing right my thing is with turkey wings for me. Mm -hmm. It's a tightness that I'm looking for, right? I don't like them gooey or, or like, it has to have that bakedness to it. Oh, wow. No, All no, no effort, no effort. All no, mm -hmm. Let's do this. Going in, there we go. There we go. Woo. With, with, <laughs> there we go, told you, I told you. I told you. All for one bite. Game changing turkey wings. Beautifully baked. It got the nice flavor on the crust on the outside right here. Look at this. Mm. Nothing bland about it. That beautiful dangerous, seasoning on man. here. It's dangerous, man. It's, uh, this embodies like soul. Every, everything about soul food. Right here. Look at this. 
Nothing <laughs> falling off the bone, B. <laughs> exposed to, right? Ain't that how it's supposed to go? Mm. Can't go wrong with a good song, right? That's the baked chicken, right? Try that baked chicken. Gotta try the baked chicken, bro. Baked chicken up next. With them turkey wings, though, I don't want to put it down. I'm gonna get one for the wife. I'm gonna get another one, another platter. Watch, watch the flavoring on these. Well, I can already know the way she did the uh, the turkey wings. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the same type of action. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I see what you did with these. <laughs> what I love is it's it's not a um. So I hate salt, right? Mm. I don't like salty food. Mm. I like when foods cook in their natural, you know, just it tastes how it's supposed to. Now I don't know what type of she won't tell me anyway the seasoning that she used, but it's amazing. I'm gonna go in again for the turkey wings. Um, <laughs> It's Look that good. Joints, man. It is. It fell apart right in my hands. <laughs> this just fell right off too. I didn't even touch it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, don't miss out. I guess this is one of those joints. This is probably one of those joints where it's like, if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of people probably drive through here and be like, I don't want to stop. Could be. But I'm gonna tell you right now, it's all love. Just come through, get your platter, and bounce. You know what I'm saying? That's essentially you can it. You call in the head, okay. and it's ready for you. Yo, my allergies are killing me today. Seafood salad, bro. Oh, seafood salad. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Ooh! Ah! Ah! Y'all witnessed something I do not do often, which is drop food. On top of that, I do not drop chicken at all. So you just witnessed history. I dropped three pieces of chicken. And I, I'm, I, I'm honestly gonna feel really bad for the entire year for that, you know what I mean? So, uh, Miss Mika was able to fry me up some more chicken and uh, here we go. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that Mika sauce is like a hot and honey. Nice sweetness to it. Ooh. Eat those wings with the uh, seafood salad. Slam it. Like a honey sweet sauce. Yeah. Let's leave Ms. Mika all smiles. Her energy fills up the room. She only cursed me out one time today, so that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> How you like your wings, bro? The wings is slamming, crunchy, the sauce, that nice sweet sauce, honey sauce. Great combination with the seafood salad. I mean, this is an overall fantastic soul food joint. And I'm not, I'm not saying this because they're staring right at me. You know what I mean? Um, it really is a fantastic soul food joint. You get home cooking meals, home cooked meals here. Uh, and it's very reasonably priced very reasonably priced she's not breaking the bank on this one um so this is a good joint to uh i told her to start selling pillows with it man because yeah. once you eat this you're gonna be want to lay down that might be a new movement you get like a couple cots here couple bunk beds <laughs> i tell you right now if you get the ps5 you get the ps5 hook it up to this to the screen right here you get like four like one of those reclining chairs mm -hmm. ain't nobody gonna want to leave no they're not gonna leave mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely do gotta go, right? <laughs> Can't be here all day. Salute to Patty Jackson for always showing love. Yes. Miss Patty. That's my girl. No, that's, that's fan. I love Miss Patty Jackson. That's my fan. That's my heart right there. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, Miss Miss Patty, we're gonna link up later. You know what I mean? Uh, but you already know about this food, Miss Patty. Yes, she did. Yeah. She put us on the map too. She she do a lot for small businesses too. Yes. Even before me, I call her one of the pi foodie pioneers. Okay. I give it up for her all the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, my family. that's your family? Yeah. That's my auntie right there. Oh, yeah, we, we all we all cousins around here. Tomorrow when, you're gonna hear it. Happy birthday, yeah. uh -huh. When when you eat good food like this, you automatically become family. 
So if there are any opportunities for me to put you in any festival or whatever, I'm going to hit you up. That's how we do it. Because everybody got to try this food. This is how soul food should be done. Philly soul food. Can I call it Philly soul food? Let's call it Philly soul food. Dutch, appreciate your time. Thank you, brother. Always a pleasure. And to all the JL Jupiters out there, keep on eating. Keep on eating. Keep on eating. Keep on eating. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. I got a way to get us out of this. <laughs> <laughs>